Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to the Dark Zone 7 video. Today we're making a video just about one Dark Zone. Why you ask? Well, I had to do most of these research myself. So I went ahead and I mapped all the things I could find. So all the division tech, all the Dark Zone chests, all the sealed caches chests, how many bosses are there to be found and apparently there are no wild bosses in Dark Zone 7. All of them are on landmarks. And surprisingly, a lot of stuff... Actually, it's not such a big surprise, but most of the things are on the landmarks. And something really unique about this zone is that it doesn't have an extraction site, which makes it kind of weird to find that there's so much loot in this zone. There's, there's, there's an extraordinary amount of landmarks. And some of them even give multiple waves. For example, the one in the bottom left, that is Opera, gives you three rounds of bosses, which means six items. Plus, it holds a Dark Zone chest, which makes it eight. After that, you can pretty much go extract straight away. And um, the problem is with this zone is that you have to choose between the extraction zone in Dark Zone 6 or 8. Depending on what side you end up, is where you're gonna be going. So uh, it's really hard to come up with routes for this map because just the opera, I mean, going there just means going back straight away. However, this is what I came up with. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna exclude the opera house because it's such, because it's an extraction on its own, it's not worth mentioning because every time you go there, you're gonna go extract afterwards. So that's, that's part of the idea. Um, so the, there's three routes I came up with. The first one starts in the north at the checkpoint. From the checkpoint, you're gonna head, you're gonna head west to that landmark over there and grab the sealed cache that is located on the top left. Then head to the landmark and clear it and pick up the dark zone chest. Then head further south to the next landmark, pick that one up, and then keep heading south towards dark zone six to extract because now you're full. The next route is uh, actually starts in Dark Zone 9, which actually kind of the checkpoint that is right there fell off the map. But I'll, I'll well, it's if once you've explored it, you, you can fast travel to it. And um, there's actually a way to climb over the wall there, so you can actually just hop back to Dark Zone 7 straight away from checkpoint 9. Uh, that would be checkpoint 9 west. Alright, so from there head into the first landmark you run into where you'll find two Dark Zone chests, a sealed cash chest and one boss. Then a little bit further to the southwest you'll find another landmark. If you clear that, that means you can extract. For this route I'd say go to Dark Zone 8 to extract. And from there on there is just one more route to do which actually is you start at the safe house from Dark Zone 6, then leave at the east entrance and walk through the contaminated zone where you'll pick up one of the sealed caches. Then go into the uh, part that is in between the landmarks and start clearing the west one first. After that, clear the east one, which is underground. This all together should get you filled up. Now you can choose, because from this position it doesn't really matter which extraction zone you take. Before we're going to end the video, I have a few things left to say. This zone is by far the highest dense place with loot. The fact that it doesn't have an extraction zone means that this is one of the best places to look for specific items. So, destroying the ones you don't want and just keep going until you got what you need. But, this zone also has a lot of potential for division tech. It counts 20 division tech. And they're reasonably easy to pick up along the way. And I realize I haven't notified what everything means on the map, but most of them speak for itself. The division tech is the same icon, the chests are the dark zone chests, and then the little black round circles with the bag inside are the sealed cash chests. 
the gray areas are passages, normal passages, and the red ones that I drawn in are underground passages. You can use those as shortcuts to get to where you want to be. I'll leave a link to this image that I made uh, in the description and um, if you guys enjoyed this video or found it helpful by any means, feel free to share this image and um, even enhance it if you like. Uh, I'm not the best photoshopper in the world. I even used GIMP for it to be honest. Um, but I was mainly focused on getting my research done and not making high quality work on the image. Anyway, if you guys enjoyed, don't forget to leave a rating because it really helps us out and shows us your appreciation and know you guys got our back. All right. I hope to see you guys in the next video where we'll be looking at Dark Zone 8.